so hot today. Hi guys, my name is Monica and welcome back to my channel, Money Reads, where I talk about books and things. And today I have a topic that I'm really excited to film. And I know that it's like, wow, Monica, you're so excited. I know, I know, I'm really excited. And that's because this is a topic that is really important to me and that it should be, or at least I think if you click on this video, it should be important to you. But that is reading more diversely. How the fuck do you do that? I'm here to tell you. As everybody knows, this year we realized that there is a big issue in publishing and also a big issue in YouTube in general with the fact that we all seem to be a little bit colorblind when we read. I say we all, I am not saying there aren't people that aren't colorblind, but sadly the majority of us and the big ass YouTubers, like the ones that everybody knows, is pretty colorblind. But thankfully now we have tried to steer away from that and we're trying to read more diversely. But how do you actually go from buying a bunch of books, and we'll get to the fact that not everybody can buy a bunch of books, to actually incorporating them into your TBR? Well, I'm here to give you some tips. Number one has to do with that whole buying a whole bunch of books things. Some of us are very, very lucky in the fact that we can go out and buy a bunch of books. Like, sometimes I spend money on books that I'm like, wow, that was a whole lot of money, you know? And not everybody has that ability. But that doesn't mean that you can't read more diversely. The number one tip I have for people that don't have the money to invest in reading books from black authors, Latino authors, Asian authors, is to please use the wonderful thing we have called libraries where you can find these books. You can look up online and you can find them. If your library doesn't have them, always remember that you can request them. That's another thing that sometimes people forget. You can request books from your library. So that way you can actually have these books available to you and not just to you but to the general public. The other tip that I have is to use things like Scribd. Through Scribd, I have read so many books of different kinds of authors that are not just white people writing that I, kind, I think sometimes people forget that Scribd is a really great way to use your, you know, money, <laughs> I guess. I know, it's still, this is for people that can afford that. I think it's $9.99 a month in the United States. I pay a little bit, like, I pay the same, but in euros, so it, it's like 8.99 euros or something like that. And you can listen to the books. The only thing about Scribd is after a while, um, they start to limiting the books that you can listen to. But that does mean that you can add some diversity to your reading without having to go out and buy a whole new library of books that are diverse. Now, going into buying books and how to actually achieve this whole idea of reading diversely. Let me tell you, if I go out there and I buy a bunch of books um, from black, Latino, Asian, or other authors that are in the fantasy section, I'm not gonna read them. And that is going to make me feel bad because then I'm gonna feel like a bad person for not reading books written by diverse authors. So the first thing you have to do, baby, my darling, my baby honey boo boo child, is figure out what the fuck you like. And then go and find black or Latino, or I, I keep saying black, Latino, Asian, you know, diverse authors within that genre. There you go. And I pro 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 promise you, there are authors writing in that genre that you love that are not white. I promise you, I promise you. I read science fiction, which is like, I, along with, I think science fiction and fantasy, adult science fiction and fantasy, are like the most white thing that you can read, <laughs> like seriously. And yet, here I have, for example, I have uh, The Fifth Season by N.K. Jemison. Jem I'm sorry, N.K. Jemison. Um, I, it, I know it's more or less dystopian, but it's still sci-fi. And then I also have, I'm sorry, I'm looking down because I have them here. I also have The Weight of the Stars by A. Ankrum, by, by K. Ankrum, I can't speak today, uh, who is also a black author, and this is also sci-fi. And my one of my favorite books of all time, I found through this 
idea of just looking for books in a genre that I already like and then looking for diverse authors in this genre, which is, let me get it for you. Here we are, Do You Dream of Terra 2 by Tammy O. Oh. This is heart, this is sci-fi written by a black author. So there you go, you see, I mean, it's not that hard. You just have to do a little bit of research and I'm sure you can find it. Um, for fantasy, I have here the daughters of Enri. I'm gonna say Enri, I'm pretty sure that's how you say it because there is this um, YouTuber called Enjeri here on YouTube. I'll link her channel up above. She's incredible, incredible, amazing. And if you want like ideas of what to read, go to her channel. But anyway, written by Renny K. Amayo, who is also a black author. I also have here um, Infinite, Infinity Sun by Adam Silvera. Again, uh, this is written by a Latinx author. Fresh Water, written by Akwiki. Akwiki Emezi. I'm sorry, I'm trying. Akwiki Emezi. Um, this is literary fiction. And then here I have Akata Witch, which is actually middle grade fantasy written by Annie Okorafor. So you can find authors in every single genre that there is. You just have to do a little bit of research. So do your research, know what you like, and find books in that genre. And I assure you this will diversify your reading, your reading greatly. The next tip I have for you is to actually make sure you include these books in your like weekly or monthly reading. Um, usually what most normal people do that are not on booktube is they pick up a book and read it. Well, my darling, tiny, boo-boo, baby child, I'm here to tell you that you're gonna have to be more conscious of what you're doing. Like, I, before, you know, before you wanted to diversify your writing, your, why do I keep saying writing? Your reading, you would just go to your shelf, pick up a book, and read it. Now what I'm asking you to do is actually go to your shelf and make sure that the book you're picking up Maybe it's the first book of the month, maybe it's the second book, whatever it is. I don't know how much you read, so that's another thing you have to take into consideration, how much you read. It's by a diverse author. You have to do the work. It's not as simple as, I'm going to buy all of these books and then they're just going to sit there on your shelf. You have to read the books. If not, then what is the point? I, I don't know. In that vein, uh, for people that do buy these books, I would actually do what I have done, which is I would create a separate shelf of just diverse authors, black authors, na um, Native American authors, or whatever it is, and I would put all of my diverse books in those shelves. And once those are there, I know every month that I have to at least pick one, and I'm, it's like that's nothing, one book from that shelf. I pick up one book from that shelf and that alone diversifies my reading experience because if I'm picking up one book, I'm already adding some flavor to my previously very white reading. And along with that vein, don't feel that the only thing that you have to read are diverse authors because that's not the point. Yes, you have to read da, 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 da. you have to read diverse authors. And I am using the verb have to. I know some people are like, I don't like to hear the verb have to because I'm an adult and I do what I want. Well that's great. Good for you. But you have to diversify your reading. It's something that is necessary for us today, for us in the world that we live in right now. We have to diversify our reading. So Yes, you have to, but you don't have to ignore other things. You can still read other things. Like, this is not a punishment. This is a discovery. This is a moment of discovery for you. For you to try other people's writings, for you to try other things. You should be excited about this. You should be excited about diversifying your reading. And that's the other thing. Remember? Diverse authors, black authors, I, I keep saying black and Latinx because I feel that those are the ones that like speak more to me, but of course Asian authors, trans writers, everyone have amazing stories to tell and you're missing out. So go out there and get yourself diversified in your reading experience. I promise you it's easier than you think. You can find what you love 
and you might just find a new favorite just like I did. I had no expectations for Do You Dream of Terra 2 by Tamio. I was basically just going through the whole, okay, I like sci-fi so I'm gonna see some sci-fi books written by black authors and I found this one actually on script and I was like, okay, I'm gonna try it. And I actually ended up buying the book in physical form and reading it again because I loved it that much. That's the beauty of diversifying your writing is the fact that there are stories out there, good, beautiful, amazing stories that are not being experienced because we refuse to diversify our reading experience. But not you, because now you have the ability to diversify your writing. Your, your reading, not your writing. <laughs> So that's pretty much it. Those are just my little tips for you to be more diverse, to enjoy the process of diversifying your writing. Remember, use your local library. Remember, there are other ways for you to do this and not just buying all the books because some people just don't have that ability. And if you don't, don't feel like you're being left out. You can still do this, okay? And everyone else, what I want to do is I want to challenge you to at least read one book not written by a white person every month. Just one. And it doesn't matter if it's like a short story, it doesn't matter if it's a fantasy, it doesn't matter if it's anything. Just one a month. And that alone will diversify your reading by so much. So yeah. That's my little video about diversifying your reading. Let me know down below if you have any tips for how to diversify your reading experience. And well, uh, I'm gonna get through some of these. Ooh! <laughs> I'm gonna get through some of these this month. I've, al get al I've already gotten through some of them. And remember, again, this is not a punishment. This, th there's this whole thing of like, I have to read this book. No, you don't. No, you don't have to read anything you don't want to read, but what is being asked is that you don't ignore other kinds of authors. What is being asked is that you don't forget that black people exist and that they write books. And they don't and here's the other thing. You don't have to read nonfiction. You don't have to read books that talk about the whatever experience. You can just read about dragons and fantasy if you want. There are stories out there for you, written by people that are not like you, but you know what? That makes them all the better. So anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I really enjoyed filming it. I've been like pumped to film it, and now I feel like I'm gonna edit it and I'm gonna be like, I left so many things out, but yeah. Anyway, without any further ado, I bid you adieu with a friendly reminder that I post every Monday, Wednesdays, and Fridays to please subscribe, like, comment, and I will see you in another galaxy far, far away. Thank you guys so much for watching. Bye.